purpose of this recording is to discuss filters, filter parameters, and octave band filters. Topics will include filter types, filter parameters, weighting network, and octave band filters. The electric representation of an acoustic signal is called an audio signal. Filters modify the spectral content of audio signals. A filter is a device that restricts the passage of energy to a specific frequency range called the filter band. Filters pass or stop most of the signal energy, but not all of it. There are four main filter types used in signal processing applications, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter, and band reject notch stop band filter. A low pass filter passes the low frequency energy and does not pass the high frequency energy. Notice the high frequency energy is missing in the filter output. These filters are used to remove high frequency noise from a sound. A high pass filter passes the high frequency energy and blocks the low frequency energy. These filters are used to eliminate the 60 Hertz hum produced by an alternating or AC power. A band pass filter passes a band of frequency centered on a certain frequency. A band pass reject filter or notch filter or stop band filter rejects a range of frequencies and passes frequencies that are lower or higher than this band. These filters are used to eliminate 60 hertz hum produced by an AC power supply. Filter properties are characterized by a number of parameters. The main five filter parameters are upper cutoff frequency, the lower cutoff frequency, the center frequency, the bandwidth, and filter slope. All of these characteristics apply to band pass and band reject filters but only the cutoff frequencies and slope apply to low pass and high pass filters. The center frequency of the filter is the frequency in the center of the band. The upper cutoff frequency is the frequency above the center frequency at which the signal intensity is three dB lower than the intensity at the center frequency. The lower cutoff frequency is the frequency below the center frequency at which the signal intensity is 3 dB lower than the intensity of the signal at the center frequency. The bandwidth is the width of the filter's operational band or the width of the frequency band between the two 3 dB down points on either side of the band. The 3 dB decrease in signal level corresponds to a 50% drop in signal intensity, and this decrease is the standardized value for determining a bandwidth of any device. The slope of the filter, also called roll-off rate, rejection rate, or skirt rate, is measured in decibels per octave and may not be constant across the whole slope of the filter. Two different attenuation rates are illustrated in this figure. The dark gray band represents a filter with a steeper slope rate than the light gray band. The selectivity of the filter shown by the steepness of the filter slope is characterized by the quality factor, Q. 
The higher the Q value is, the higher the selectivity of the filter. Q is defined as the ratio of the resonance center frequency to the bandwidth of the curve. Most simple noise measurements are made using the A frequency weighting and the results are expressed in dB. When a measurement is A weighted, the sound level meter is responding in a similar way to the human ear, being more attenuated in the lower frequencies. The image shows the A weighting filter response removing low frequency sounds from the response. An octave is two times or one half a desired frequency. For example, one octave above 500 hertz is 1000 hertz. One octave below 500 hertz is 250 hertz. A sound level meter fitted with octave band filters has the ability to split the audible spectrum into smaller bands identifying the frequency content of the noise. These are called the octave bands because there is one octave between the bottom and top of each band. The center frequencies for these bands are usually 31.5 hertz, 63 hertz, 125 hertz, 250 hertz, 500 hertz, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, and 16,000 hertz. The sound level meter will measure the noise in each of the octave bands, either all at the same time, real time or parallel filters, or switching to one band at a time, serial filters. This figure shows an example of a typical octave band spectrum where the level at 250 hertz is greatest. Octave analysis is often used in noise control, hearing protection, and sometimes in environmental noise issues. One third octave band filters are very similar in nature to the octave band filters. The difference is that each of the octave bands is split into three giving a more detailed description of the frequency content of the noise. One third octaves are useful in many environmental building acoustics and noise control applications. These filters can be used for many applications, but in particular, they are used to identify the frequency content of the noise and to help control and reduce the noise. Here are some examples. In hearing protection, the octave band spectrum is used for calculating the level at the ear when wearing hearing protectors. Some data logging meters are provided with software that makes these calculations. In noise reduction and control, these filters can help identify the problem areas and then focus noise control on those levels. In summary, there are four main filter types used in signal processing applications. Filter properties are characterized by a number of parameters. Most simple noise measurements are made using the A frequency weighting network, and the results are expressed in dBA. Octave band and one third octave band filters can be used to identify the frequency content of the noise. Later.